Hey everybody, Pastor Cushman. Again, the other day on, on Facebook, I saw somebody posted, honestly, it's not that boring being stuck at home. But, but it's incredible that in one package of rice, there are 8,976 grains, and in the other, there are 8,984. Now, you might not be that bad, but I'm sure during this time you, you've noticed some completely random things. Uh, uh, well, I, I know that people have noticed some random things uh, in, in these videos. Uh, one of my elders noticed that in the very first video I posted, one of my pockets was unbuttoned. And, well, when he told me, I laughed because, well... I know it's the exact same thing. Uh, my mom noticed that uh, I have trimmed my beard since the last time she saw me, and she said that she liked it. Uh, my mother-in-law noticed that I cleaned up the random papers that were in the bookshelf behind me, and she appreciated uh, that. And well, me, I, I've noticed that these days I've been wearing a lot of t-shirts into the office since it's, well, just me here. Um, what are some of the random things you've noticed? Not, not necessarily in these videos, but just at home. What, what, what did you not realize uh, before? But you know, thinking about that post about uh, counting the little grains of rice, it made me think about what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 10. Um, there Jesus said, are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. But even the hairs on your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. It's crazy to think that God has numbered. He knows every single hair on your head. And, and he knows that not because he's bored and in quarantine with nothing else better to do. No, he, he knows this because he knows everything. It, but also because he loves you and you are of great value to him. He knows it all. All. He knows what you are going through right now. He knows your, your, your struggles. He, he knows the, the, the frustrations. He knows the, the fears and, and, and the worries. And, and he invites you to give those over to him. It also made me think of what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, where, where Jesus says, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat, or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow, nor reap, nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon, in all his glory, was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. A uh, pastor friend of mine, and I, I can't remember who, and I was looking in the pastor groups I'm in and through my news feed, and I just could not relocate the post. So whoever it was, thank you for posting this. But he, he posted something uh, along the lines of, uh, he said, think about this. When God called you to serve at the congregation where you are currently serving, he knew that all of this would be taking place. He knew that all this would take place. He called you to that specific flock that you would be able to shepherd them through this. And it's kind of a, yeah, it's a, well, it's an encouraging thought that, that God knew what was going to be happening and he put all of this together that, that he is going to help me through this. He's going to help you through this. And, and I thought that that, that idea of, of encouragement it isn't just for, for pastors. It can go to, to all of us in, in all of the various uh, vocations uh, in, in which we serve. Uh, today, I, I was talking with 
a uh, friend back in, in Michigan and I, I've, I've learned that one of my, my former youth, uh, who's not quite a youth anymore, uh, uh, an adult, she recently graduated from, from nursing school uh, and has only been a nurse for just a few months and, and she's been uh, assigned to uh, an area of the hospital where they are, are helping out people who are, are, uh, have been diagnosed with, with uh, COVID-19 and uh, uh, God was preparing her for this. God knew <laughs> that Wow, uh, you know, imagine that being like your first assignment, but but God knew and, and was preparing her for it. And I, I also, though, ask you, uh, please keep Becky uh, in, in your prayers, as well as all the other uh, doctors and nurses and people who are uh, caring for these patients. Uh, but, but, and not just... Uh, you know, vocations that, that we think of the, uh, like the doctors and nurses and police officers and firefighters, uh, parents, God knew that this was going to be there and, and he has placed you, you know, th those kids in your lives that, and he knows what you're going through, but he has given you the ability to, to, to be there for them. Uh, people with, with older parents that, that you're caring for, God knew all of this. And, and he has given you the, the ability to do that or, or your neighbors that you can care for them. God has, uh, has placed you where you are in life. He knows. He knows the struggles. He, he knows what, what, what you have. He knows what, what you lack. Be, be comforted by that. Also, see how you, where you are can be a blessing to others. Uh, th that's going to be uh, it, it for today. Again, I don't know that I'm going to post a video tomorrow, but there will be uh, it, something posted for, for worship over the weekend. Uh, in the meantime, again, those of you who don't know how to subscribe, when you're watching the cool YouTube video, you know, uh, click on the subscribe button and, you know, uh, Murray and Lucy were, were mad that I didn't tell you to, to ring that notification bell. I, I don't care if you ring the notification bell. Do it if you want, but smash that like button. I, I really don't care if you do that either. It's just fun to say. Um, but also, uh, send stories. You've got good stories to, to share to stories at mountolivefg.org. Nobody's sent in any stories yet. Maybe it's because I talk about that at the end of the video and people don't make it to the end of the video. <laughs> Who knows? Um... But yeah, uh, also thank you for those who have continued to send in your offerings. Online giving is just about up and running. It's, it's getting there. But uh, if you want the church's uh, bank information, you want to do the online bank check thing, uh, contact me. I, I can let you, I can hook you up with Shannon and she can get you all that info. Uh, but again, thank you for your prayers, for your support. Uh, and yeah, all that you guys are doing. Uh, stay safe. Stay sane. God bless. Love you guys.